Hi everybody, Dave Herbert here. You know, it's impossible for me to answer every one of your private messages. It's insane, so please forgive me for not being able to do that. What I am trying to do, uh, while I still can, and I don't know how many more videos I can make, but I'm trying to pass on what I learned in the past. So the new guys don't have to struggle so hard to learn how to do some of these things. I'm trying to give you some tips, some of the things that I've learned. I don't just run out and buy a, the first airplane that comes on the market and, and throw together a video and just to fly it. I'm trying to make quality videos of something I think you guys would like and show some history too. So here is a plane that my dad flew in his honor. He died last year. He flew the PT-19. He was a, an instructor, a flight instructor in the Army Air Force at the time and he taught people to fly on the PT-19. This PT-19 is pretty. And I like it a lot. I've got an ASP 61 four-stroke in it. And uh, both these, uh, the plane and the engine came from nitro planes. A couple of things I want to tell you is when you balance a plane, you never balance it so it's level, like this. You balance it slightly nose down, always. And that's exactly where this is balanced. It's got gas in it already, okay? Second of all, if you're gonna fly a plane, pick one you can see. Yellow and orange are the two best known colors to see in the sky. Red is the worst. So just make sure you, you, uh, you pick something that you can see. Well, here's what you get in the kit. The first impression is a beautifully covered and finished balsa kit. The China Model Products Kit comes with two power modules, one for gas and one for electric. The engine I picked is the ASP.61 four-stroke. The power module for the gas even came with a tank and it's very important to pay attention to the detail for this tank because one, you don't need the two vent lines and two, you have to put it together just right or it'll leak. I wrapped my tank with the foam that came with the engine to reduce bubbles from vibration and as you can see here there were burrs on the tubing so make sure to clean those out or they could easily wind up in your engine. Once the tank was in, I sealed the opening with electric glue and then put clear tape over the other openings to keep fuel out of the fuselage. Another item to make sure works perfectly is this tailwheel skid. The wire must be bent exactly as I've shown here, so make sure. Nice to have a plane with real rubber wheels too. You know, make sure you have some epoxy because there's a few places that need it, such as the wing joining, the control surface attachments, and the rubber cockpit trim, which was a pain in the arse. I usually mount my engines upright for ease of starting and less chance of damaging the muffler or valve covers on a nose over which require grinding out the holes in the fiberglass cowl for the needle valve, the muffler and the head and you know it runs cooler too. Hey, got the fill of valve cover off here so you can see how these, the glow plug is out right now so I can turn the silver and see how the valves work on the four stroke. So we'll put this little valve cover back on so I'll show you how that looks. Okay, this is how I the super glue on my hinges. I just let a drop run down like that. I used my Kraft KPS 15 servos that I built back in 1979 for the elevator and rudder. The ailerons are run by a high-tech HS422 ball bearing servo since I didn't have any Kraft servos left. The throttle is controlled by a micro servo. The radio is my Spectrum DX6i. The receiver is a Spectrum AR500 and the servo and receiver power is provided by a 1300 milliamp LiPo powering a UBEC. Here you see I removed the one-sided spring as I learned from trial and error on other engines that they put uneven side pressure on the needle valve o-ring and that causes air leaks. I placed a piece of silicone tubing on instead. So this silicone seal on there, that way you can put the uh, needle valve in and uh, it's not going to move and it's not going to leak there. The pressure is equal. I ran one tank of gas through it just to adjust the needle valves and as I always do I flew it on its maiden flight sloppy rich to break the engine in. As you'll see this is a sweet running engine. Let's see how we go this will be the first run. I do know that uh, wow it's got a lot of good compression. You don't want to start these master air screws because when your finger runs wrong there it will just cut it. I do have the engine indifferent. I don't like them upside down. I have trouble starting them that way.
If it quits when you hold it up, then it's too lean. Here's a simple and fun AMA pattern contest maneuver that you can practice. It's the three consecutive inside loops. You must maintain the same center position and you have to enter and exit nice and flat. in honor of my dad. And it's windy too, folks. Oh, baby. My dad. That was just fun. It's so much fun to fly, even in the wind, didn't you feel? <laughs> Remember, you can do all the hot dog flying you want, but if you can't get back, it doesn't mean anything. So practice those landings and hovering so you can get back, and good luck. <laughs>